And Sandra Venables is the Assistant Commissioner of Road Policing and Prevention. She joins us now. Good evening to you. Good evening. Can we just talk about the Topo crash first? We heard from Nita a bit earlier on. Uh, the, the sixth passenger in what looked to be like a simple sedan was taken to hospital. What do we know about use of seatbelts in that crash? So I think it's too soon to start talking about that, although we do know that wearing your seatbelt will help uh, prevent injury. So I just I want to be very careful about the specifics of these. It's been a horrific day today with nine people losing their lives and our thoughts go out to the friends and the family and colleagues of those people. But we are absolutely committed to reducing death and injury on our roads and we work alongside our road safety partners to do this, but we cannot do it alone. So we mm. need everyone's help to keep our roads safe and that is exactly that. Wearing your seatbelt, driving to the conditions, lowering your speed when you can to make sure that you are driving to the conditions and not driving impaired. Um, yeah, th th know, these are rural roads, as you're saying. We've, we've got, you know, I mean, just the um, the amount of crashes from our yearly death toll on the roads that are that happen in in the rural areas is is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the, the 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 photos that the people viewing would have seen there, they can go to our website and see. They're just horrific. A car just sliced in half. A, a miracle that someone from that car has actually survived. Uh, it seems. I mean, wh wh what's your message? I suppose when people need to be cautious when they're approaching uh, the, the major road in terms of giving way? So speed uh, is always a factor in regards to the degree or the outcome of a crash, so the degree of injury or what happens as an outcome of the crash. So if we can get people to lower their speeds, drive to the conditions, please put your seatbelts on. That would be a start. Um, we just want everyone to be safe on our roads. Must be difficult to get detail at this stage, but the first one this morning was actually in Auckland. It seemed like the car went into the Monaco Harbour. Do you have any more detail about that incident? No, I'm, I'm not going to talk about those specifics. They're all now a matter for an investigation and the c coroner. But what I can say is we just want everyone to drive to the conditions, maintain their focus on the roads and keep their speeds down, especially if it's a wet, wet day. About 24 hours ago, we were looking better than last year's road toll as at the end of March. Nine people in one morning, I think, takes the road toll to 101 this year already. When was the last time you can remember nine people losing their lives in a single morning? Unfortunately, um, in this role, I get to hear of each death every day. Um, so I think about 15 months ago, we also had another terrible day on our roads. But every death is one death too many. So I want to make sure that people understand that we want to save and make sure that people are safe on our roads all the time. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Sarah Venables there.